Hey guys, it's God Bars here, the self-proclaimed hip-hop historian, and this is the 194th episode of my series, where I grab a vinyl from my collection, talk about why I love it, what influence it has, and what its place is in the grand scheme of hip-hop. So this isn't the first Death Grips project I've discussed on the page, but it probably would have been if I had it back when I covered their beloved LP, The Money Store even though that one still might slightly edge out the one we're talking about today as my favorite project of theirs. I would maintain that X Military is probably the best release in their discography to start with. When first checking out their music as a new listener, I actually touched on this LP a decent amount in my previous Death Grips review, so I'll leave a link for that upload down below in the description if you want to check it out. I'm not going to give too much background on the members and how I first got into the group, since I discussed it in that video a good amount. But what I will say is, from what I remember, X Military was really the first project that gained Death Grip's widespread notoriety and attention, especially with the leading single, Guillotine. I actually remember not really getting this song the first time I heard it in passing, before, of course, I was a fan of these guys. But then I later returned to it and found it growing on me more and more, especially with the eerie and unsettling music video. Along with the likes of Lil Ugly Mane and Space Ghost Perp, the Grips really helped pioneer this whole genre of hip-hop that was heavily influenced by internet culture. They just went about it in a more abstract yet confrontational way. While sonically, this album may not have the intense kind of harsh noise that an experimental group like Clipping kind of works within, the sheer velocity of Zach Hill's playing, mixed with MC Ride's almost yell of a flow, is really just about as punk as it gets. The way those more traditional and heavy aspects combine with the killer samples and internet themes form an amalgamation that in my opinion was a direct predecessor to the equally unique type of music that someone like JPEG Mafia has been dominating with. Death Grip's breakout album here doesn't hone in on that dark web aesthetic quite as much as some of their later projects would. The experience being built on its military is more kind of visceral and primal. Personally, the main thing that separates this album from my other favorite LPs of theirs is the setting that I picture this schizophrenic, paranoid lead character that MC Ride plays within. With the money store, I usually imagine the events transpiring in some grimy part of a densely populated city, while something like the bottomless pit quite literally feels like you're falling down an endless pitch black void, especially with the first couple of tracks. But again, for me, this album kind of paints a picture of a desert where our deranged yet disturbingly self-aware anti-hero of a protagonist is just traversing through while on every drug known to man. Again, that's really just the movie that's played alongside to the music for me, but the real sell when I was first checking this thing out back in the day, besides the explosive production, was the litany of densely poetic imagery-filled MC ride lines. You really get a perfect idea of this album's M.O. right from the first track. With the eerie Charlie Manson vocal sample that drops into this noisy cacophony of sound, and as if that wasn't enough, Ride's lyrics show right off the bat why he's very arguably the single most enigmatic MC in modern hip-hop. We're given some pretty iconic pieces of poetry from the second he hits the mic with, I close my eyes and seize it, I clench my fists and beat it, I light my torch and burn it, I am the beast I worship. And I know soon come my time, for in mine void a pale horse burns. But I fear not the time I'm taken, past the point of no return. Wage war like no tomorrow, cause no hell there won't be one. For all who deny the struggle, the triumphant overcome. I have to share a few of my other favorite lines that pop up across ex-military. Like, lunar eclipse forcing you to trip. Off the moonlit fire we spray, cryonic haunted bullets, hollow-tipped with toxic waste. Another is career killer, double-decker packed with suicidal brides, four-armed fury and a filthy dream about splitting your bitch's thighs. 
enters through unknowing eyes, touch the key it's in your mind. Can't delete it and soon you'll find how bad you need it all the time. And finally, the last piece of poetic imagery I want to share. Sheba slashing through your flat screen is nowhere for you to hide. Strangled by anaconda thumbs to the soundtrack of world genocide. My thoughts tie knots in silver spoons, vampire on the rise. Punk a chump with a cunt for brain platoon in the zone and on the grind. One other thing that makes X Military stand out is unlike most other Death Grips LPs, we actually do get one guest appearance on this thing, which is from Mexican Girl, who I must admit is an artist I'm not too familiar with, outside of her appearance here on Lord of the Game. That would definitely be one of the tracks I would choose as an honorable mention, alongside Culture Shock, 5D, Through the Walls, I Want It, I Need It, or Death Heated, and Blood Creepin'. For my three favorite tracks overall on here, I'm going to skip over Guillotine since it's probably the most well-known Death Grip song out there. And instead I'd go for Beware, Tachyon or Deathion, and Spread Eagle Cross the Block. Thank you for watching my 194th video. We only have one more modern classic left in this set, and I left a pretty overdue album for this final spot. So check in for that one, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite moments of this genre changer are. Don't forget to have a great day, and I'll see you next time, okay? Alright. Who would do such a thing? But... Look, I stand in the flame of a feeling we call pain. Father's Day mug, little handshape, the clay carrier planes flew overhead in pockets.